With life comes a great deal of uncertainty. Who you meet, the things you get to do, what you eat, the legacies you struggle to leave behind. Nothing in life is for certain except for one indisputable fact. At some point, everything changes. I am Tyler Michaels, and this is my story. You certainly stayed up longer than I did last night. Uh, hello to you too, Dylan. When are you actually going to make the drive down here to visit? It's only a two hour drive from Saskatoon to West Mount. In case you haven't noticed, I've been pretty busy working my, working my ass off from that stupid minimum wage job, barely holding on to this darn rented out bedroom. I still don't understand why you moved out of your mom's and moved out there in the first place. Well, despite me having to struggle just to keep a roof over my head and food in my stomach, it's mine, and I've earned it. Living with my mother means that everything is pretty much hers, since she pays all the dang bills. And I don't want to feel like that she owns me. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I know you don't want to owe your mother for anything, but you're struggling enough as it is. Are you sure you don't want to move back home? Yeah, I'm sure. Besides, I have been able to save some cash when I eventually get out of this place. And plus, it's not all that bad.
hello. Hi, Tyler. Oh, hey, little brother. You all ready for your vacation to Hawaii? Yeah. What's wrong, buddy? I wish you could come. I know, bud. I wish I could come with you, but... You have to work. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Work sucks, but that's life. But hey, you know what? You'd probably have so much fun, you'd totally forget I was there. I don't know. Hey, you're getting on that plane tomorrow. You're going to Hawaii. And you're going to have some fun. Okay, bud? Okay, I have to pack my stuff. All right. Have a safe trip. Call me when you get there. I'll talk to you later, okay? Love you. I love you too. Yeah, I was wondering if you could uh, direct me to the local RCMP detachment, please. Thank you. Yeah, hi there. I am. Um, I'm just uh, you know, looking into something that happened earlier. There was uh, an explosion that happened just outside of Westbound. I think near Route 95. I was. Um, I don't know. It was a pretty big explosion, and I saw some. I don't know. I I think it was some kind of green mist or something. I could have been seeing things, but. I was just wondering, uh, just a gas explosion. Are you sure? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not questioning you. I'm just asking. Okay. No, no, I'm just concerned. I know this isn't an emergency, but... Yeah, okay, okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, goodbye. Asshole. Trump or Clinton? America's so screwed. Oh my god! Sarah? Tyler? <laughs> it's good to see you. How are you? I'm, uh, doing well. What are you doing in Westmount? Well, I decided to stop here on my way to the lake because it's the best time of the year to be in Westmount. Oh, I agree. Nice, well, it's not sunny now, but <laughs> it's nice, warm, sunny. <laughs> Full of bugs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So, how's life? It's, uh. Well, it's life. Um. Uh, what about you? Yeah, it's about the same. You, um. seeing someone? No, I'm not. Are you? No, um, no. This is awkward. Yep. <laughs> um, how about we, uh, have coffee when you come back from the lake? Sure. <laughs> I'd like that. Great. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, uh see you then. Uh, bye! Smooth, Michaels. Smooth.
Do you mind? Oh, sorry. Uh, where are my manners? Would you like a piece of candy? No? Hello, my name is Anton. I apologize for all of this. This is not your fault. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. However, I can promise you this. The degree of your cooperation will determine how easily this experience will be for you. What are you talking about? Two days ago, you were a witness to an explosion that occurred outside of Westmount. You called the local uh, RCMP, I believe, and uh, you asked about this explosion. You told the officer about the green mist. Do you care to elaborate on this experience at all? I don't know. One minute I was standing around and next thing you know I'm breathing in green crap. Now could you please stop standing there like an asshole and untie me? What's your language, Mr. Michaels? Clearly something your mother failed to teach you. Now, I ask you again. Please, elaborate on everything that happened that day. There was an explosion green mist and I breathed it in. That's all there is to it. What happened when you breathed in this mist? Any nausea? Uh, anything unusual? Nothing. Nothing happened. Now could you please untie me? So you don't sound so sure now. What happened? There was an explosion in green mist. That's it! You are beginning to test my patience. It is no wonder why your mother did not want her, you living with her anymore. Dishonesty is a very bad trait. You don't know a thing about me or my family. On the contrary, it is my business to know about you. I know you live in a single bedroom, a few minutes outside of town. And I know that you are trying to make a go, despite having uh, only your high school diploma. <laughs> I know of your friendship with Dylan Rees. He, despite you uh, moving away about eight months ago, I could pay him a visit. Perhaps he would be uh, more professional about this. Or maybe your brother. What was his name again? Alex? Leave him out of this. Then I suggest you cooperate. Otherwise, I promise you, one of your loved ones will experience something unpleasant. I will only ask you one more time, what happened when you breathed in the mist? I admire your tenacity. Unfortunately, that's not going to get anywhere with me. Don't be stupid. What are you going to call for help, huh? The police? How do you think I know about your call the other night in the first place? The RCMP won't help you. Now hand over the phone. What are you?
нет! Come on, come on, come on, pick up, pick up, pick up! Hello! Uh, uh, hey, hey buddy! How's your, how's your vacation going? Good. Just good? Yeah, it's hot. Well... You are vacationing next to a dormant volcano. Dormant? What's a dormant volcano? A dormant volcano is a sleepy volcano that I might wake up someday. What? Which won't be any time soon. No, 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 no worry. It won't. No, it won't. It won't happen anytime soon. But, no, I just... I, I just wanted to check in and see how things are going. Love you, buddy. I love you, too. Okay, bye now. Come on, Dylan, pick up. Oh, come on, man. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Damn it! Where is your board? Leak is dealt with. What is my next objective? Excellent work, Vatic. Sending you coordinates for your next objective. Interrogation and execution orders are issued. Understood. Ms. Vadik, I need a favor. I need you to locate somebody for me. Keep it off the records, okay? Dylan! 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 Yelling, I'm right here. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. <sighs> um, uh, what was that about? Uh, uh, nothing. I just, uh, missed you? Uh, uh come on, let's play some games here. Right, well. Good that you finally came down to visit. You want anything to drink? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could, uh, I could certainly use one. Alright, most embarrassing moment of high school. Go. <laughs> alright, alright. Um, remember that time someone slipped me something in my morning cup of coffee? Oh yeah, I remember that. You were high off your uh, ass. Sorry. <laughs> I probably shouldn't laugh. Well, from your perspective, it probably was funny as hell. Did I break into the principal's car looking for Cheetos? Yes, the look on the principal's face was priceless! <laughs> okay, uh. I said mine. What was yours? Remember your ex from high school? Sarah. Um, uh, what about her? So I met Sarah before our grad party and she said she had a friend she wanted me to meet. And she wasn't kidding. Wow, this girl was a total package. But right before I go to introduce myself, the five hot dogs that I ate earlier happened to escape my stomach 
right onto her blouse. <laughs> oh, I don't even remember that. That's because you were already dipping the wick with Sarah in your car. Dipping the wick? That's not a thing. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look it up. Whatever. So why did you come all this way to see me? Did you think I was in trouble or something? Um, n not nothing. I, uh, I just missed you. Hence the reason why you called me 21 times yesterday. Don't worry, Dylan. There's nothing to be concerned about. Aww. The hell? Another one is going on already? Are all my controller batteries are going to shit? I don't know what to tell you. Dude, what's going on with you? You're acting really weird. No, I'm not. I know you're full of crap, man. We've known each other since we were babies. So what's really going on? Okay. Don't freak out. Um... Uh, what am I supposed to be looking at? Uh, m my hand. You know uh, what? If you don't want to tell your best friend, fine. Yeah. Uh. Ah! What the hell is that? Someone might hear you. No way, no way, no way. Get the hell away from me. What is wrong with your hand? I, I don't know. One minute, life's peachy. The next thing you know, there's, well, there's an explosion, green mist. I, um, I breathe in that crap. I find out what's going on. I get kidnapped for it. And on top of that, I have lightning coming out of my hand. Okay, what? Okay, okay. I can explain this. Could you try turning that off? There we go. You have something for me, yes? Wait, John. The funniest thing came to my attention. You asked a fellow operative to look into the whereabouts of Tyler Michaels, who, if memory serves me correct, you reported dead not too long ago. Now, why did you not be honest in your report? Is it because of our low tolerance for failure? I apologize. I should have been more forthcoming with my report. Indeed. Unless I hear otherwise, I will call again within two days. When I hear your voice again, it had better be telling me a different story than what it told me the last time. Understood. Yes. I can't believe this. Green Mist, Hitmen, Superpowers, this is the kind of thing that comes straight out of a comic book. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, eh? So, what kind of thing can you do other than spark your hand? Well, I, um, I could, uh, shoot lightning blasts out of my hands. Really? Well, I don't know how. I mean, when it happened the first time, it was by accident. You know what? Why don't we see if we can get it to work for you? What? You're serious? Don't you want to see how it works? Of course, but... Dylan, I am scared shitless every time I think about this. And how are you calm about this all of a sudden? Because it's freaking awesome! You're like a superhero now! No, no, no. Absolutely not. Okay, so you're not a superhero, but you should really work on controlling your shit. Alright. What'd you have in mind? I don't like this, Dylan. This thing? It's just junk, come on.
Give it a go. <laughs> well, at least he could shoot. Um, yeah. At least I can shoot. Okay. Here we go. On fire? Hey! <laughs> uh. Oh boy. What is it? I need to head back to Westmount. Start handing out my resumes. Not exactly coffee. Not exactly, but I was in the mood for a Whopper. Thank you. So how was the lake? It was really good, except for the people who brought their dogs. Oh, there was gosh. a lot of them, and I don't like dogs. Yeah, why can't dogs just stay away from us people who are not big fans of dogs and stop sniffing my freaking genitals? Thank you. What are those papers back there? Resumes. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you don't show up to work for a few days. They'll just fire you as soon as you walk in. I'm sorry to hear that. Eh, don't be. Job sucked ass anyways. So, what else do you have going on? Well, um... I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to describe, um... Things have been gotten weird in my life. I, I'm sorry, that's so vague, but honestly, that's the best way I can describe it. Okay, then. Well, you don't have to tell me what it is, but there's something I need to talk to you about. What is it? I don't know where to start, but I'll start from the beginning, I guess. So a few days ago, this weird thing happened where my skin started shaking I, I, and... I gotta go. Why? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. Uh, I guess I'll eat your Whopper then. You do not need to sneak, Tyler. I know you were there. I 
I know if I wandered around Westmount enough that you would follow. Sit down. Enjoy a drink with me. I'll pass. Suit yourself. It is very good. I know you have a grievance against me. I took you against your will and threatened your loved ones. No man can stand while well another man threatens his life. I apologize. I apologize for having to be the one to put you through this. I take no pleasure in what I do. I merely have no choice. You always have a choice. I did originally. I have no regrets in my decisions. I wish I could explain it all to you, but uh, you are now involved in something much bigger than you can comprehend. On your feet. What do you plan to do? Kill me? You do not have the nerve to do such a thing. At least not yet. The world we live in forces us all to make decisions. To kill for the first time only when we are pushed so far. I can see in your eyes, Mr. Michaels. You aren't there yet. Shut up! I'm tired of this shit. Agreed. The time for talking is over. What the hell? Hello, Tyler. We didn't finish our lunch. Sarah? You uh... have powers? Crazy, right? But you would know, wouldn't you, Lightning Lad? See, everything was ordinary a few days ago, and then all of a sudden, green mist, an explosion, and now I find myself doing things that people would say that were impossible a few days ago. You were already in Westmount when that happened? Yeah, you know, I was driving outside of town and I stopped in the forest. I heard an explosion and then I was coughing up blood. Is this what you wanted to talk to me about earlier? Yes. I know it's been quite some time since we've seen each other, but I didn't know who else to go to. What if something bad happens to me because of my powers? There's so much going through my head. I can barely eat. I can't sleep. I don't know what to do, Tyler. Hey, you did the right thing by helping me out back there. Lord knows I have no idea what to do either. Who is that man? Someone that's covering up for someone else's crap. After the explosion, I called the RCMP to find out what was going on. Next thing I know, this asshole drags me out in the middle of nowhere, and he threatens my brother, Dylan, everyone I love. All because I apparently know some kind of big secret about what happened that day. Why... why did you go after him? Why couldn't you have called the cops? Because they're in on it. The whole reason why he went after me in the first place was because I called the RCMP. He knew all about me too. He knew about Alex. He knew about Dylan. He knew about where I worked. He knew everything about me. And... I don't know. It's just... Thank God Alex is out of the country. Otherwise... 
But then again, I don't know if he's really safe or not. And then there's Dylan. He's, he's an innocent bystander in all this. And then I went after him today because, well, I don't know. Ugh, idiot! I had a goddamn shot. And I didn't take it. I don't know what to do anymore. I just... Ugh, this whole thing is driving me insane. Tyler, calm down. Just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay, okay? No, it's not. I, I, I can't do this. I need to go. Tyler, where are you going? Doing what I should have done at the start. Run. Tyler, stop. What about, what about me? What about your loved ones? You can't just leave. All I'm doing is putting them in danger by being here. And you think that's going to help things or make them safer? By just running away? What am I supposed to do, Sarah? Well, how am I supposed to beat a guy who's not only physically stronger than me, but has the cops and whoever else on his side. Tell me, how am I supposed to beat that? How the hell do I know? I don't, but if there's one thing that I do know, I know that you cannot run away from your problem. stay for long. I heard. Got a call from Sarah out of the blue. She uh, knows about your thing and she also said you plan on running. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a bad plan, but it's the only one I have right now, Dylan, so this is probably the last time we'll see each other for a while. Not gonna lie and say I agree with you, but I understand. You just want to help everyone. Me, your brother, everyone you care about. And if that's the case, I got something for you. What is it? Well, after you left, I was cleaning my room and I found something that I was making for Sask Expo. I thought you didn't like going to those comic book conventions. I said I wasn't going to go nuts and go all the way to San Diego for Comic-Con. Sask Expo, on the other hand, is a lot closer to home. But I found out I had to work during the Expo, so I put it away. But if you're going to go around being Lightning Lad... Why does everyone insist on calling me that? If you go around deciding to be whoever, then I might as well give you something to wear. All right. Thanks, brother. Are you sure this is what you want? It's not about what I want, Dylan. It's what needs to happen. I need, uh, I need, uh, I need help at 121 Brooklyn. My friend's just been shot. Dylan, hey, stay with me. Help's on the way. Dylan? Dylan! Oh, it is. Fine, everything is just fine. That's how you pull the Sasuke before we have the energy says otherwise. If you hurt one 
hair on my spot. Calm yourself, Anton. I do not seek to harm your child. I only want to have a reminder of what's at stake for you. I have been rewatching the surveillance footage of what happened between you and Mr. Michaels at the safe house. It's no wonder why he's different than the others we sent you after. He's evolved. Fascinating to see this unexpected side effect from our experiments. You admire him? He interests me. He's only a child, and yet he stood up to you with an admirable amount of determination. And what do you want? I want you to finish your business with Tyler Michaels. No more targeting his loved ones. Find him, and the moment that one of you is no longer breathing, you and your child will no longer have to me. I believe those terms are fair. Understood. And one last thing. We left you a gift. I don't know. I haven't heard anything since they took him into surgery. Why are you not at the hospital? Like, I can't be in there right now just sitting around waiting for the bad news and... It's all my fault. Hey, it's not your fault. Everything's going to be okay. No, it's not. All my worst fears are coming true right in front of me. My best friend just got shot. Hello? You son of a bitch. If Dylan does not make it, I swear to Christ. Dylan is only in pain now because of you. I made you a promise. But if you make things Oh yes, I was definitely going to be civil for a guy who decided to drug me, kidnap me, and threaten the ones closest to me. The only person you have to blame is yourself. You started all of this. And I'm going to finish this. To give you an address to a building in Westmont. Meet me there in three hours. Come along. If you do not come, the bullet in Dylan will only be the beginning. It looks like you have a job to do in West Mount. Get to the hospital and stay with Dylan. Just in case. Not bad, Dylan.
cost them? It'd be ridiculous, maybe. You think it would cost them how you? You must be even the bravest man or the stupidest man I've ever met. After two failed attempts, what makes you think a third is going to help you even more, right? Well, <laughs> clearly you haven't heard. Third time's a charm! Did you not see that coming, did you? Stay down. Stay down, Tyler. You fought admirably. You were never meant to win. You lack the killer instinct. You were never meant to live this long. I'm very sorry. No. I'm not a murderer like you. But if you come near me, or any member of my family again, you will regret it. You think this is over? It's only just begun. You really think? But just because you have beaten me, it is over. They have their eyes on you. They will come for you. They know who you are. When the time is right, they will come. Who's they? <laughs> you will know soon enough. Exodus is coming, Tyler. Exodus is coming. Sorry, my son, I cannot look at you one more time. You know, I owe him one for that armored costume. 
it really saved my ass in that fight against Santon. So, what are we going to do now that it's over? It's not over. Apparently I got someone's attention out there. Anton also told me that Exodus is coming. Exodus? You mean, like, from the Bible? Something I don't know. So, what do we do now? We? Yes, we. I'm involved in this as much as you are. We are going to find out who is behind all of this, why they are doing it, and stop them. People have probably died from all of this. And I'll be damned if I'm just going to sit by another second and watch it happen. But to do that, it can't be Tyler Michaels and Sarah Wilson that will be doing it. <laughs>